All right, guys, we're about to cook up some backstrap. This is our favorite recipe. Watch it all the way through. You don't want to miss a step. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the sinew off of it. You don't want to miss out on anything because it's very good. Here we go. All right, now that the sinew is all off of the backstrap, I'm going to butterfly it so you can see how we got to open it up. Now, carefully hold on to the top and put your knife in the middle. And what I do for extra flavor, I score it so it gets in there. Now I'm gonna cut up all the ingredients that go inside of the pinwheel. This is fresh green onions, and I have two jalapenos, and then I have the cream cheese I have to dice up, and I have Monterey Jack cheese to put in there also done with that now I'm gonna put that in a bowl I cut the heat out of it because personally I don't like the spice of it I'm chopping them into strips we are going to take and get the backwoods seasoning that we like it's our favorite and I'm gonna sprinkle it all over real good I'm gonna take the cream cheese now that the cream cheese is on there, I'm gonna line it with the jalapeno peppers. Go ahead and put the green onions. Try to get it to stick to the cream cheese. Next step, put some Monterey Jack cheese in it. You put whatever makes you happy. I can't wait till this is done to where we can eat it. Mm -hmm. This is why we hunt for this recipe. Perfect. Put some fresh cracked black pepper on it. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this prosciutto on the cutting board. The reason we use prosciutto is it cooks a lot faster than bacon. We've tried it with bacon before, but whenever we would take it out of the oven, the deer meat was cooked how we like it, which is medium rare, but the bacon was still raw. You can use bacon, you just have to pre-cook your bacon. I promise you, if you don't pre-cook your bacon, your deer meat will be done, but your bacon will be rare. As you can see, I overlapped it to where it sticks together better. We're gonna take this big hunk of meat, somewhat roll it over like this. And whenever you're gonna lay it on the pan, you gotta make sure that the opening is at the top so all the stuffing doesn't come out. I'm not gonna bore you because it's the same exact steps. Put it in the pan with some olive oil. The olive oil gives it the perfect flavor. So we're gonna spread it around, put it in the middle. You don't want them touching, put it in the oven. I have the oven set at 350. And you put it on the middle of the rack and we'll cook it for about 25 minutes. It looks real good, it smells good. So the timer went off. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out and see if it's done or not. Kind of looks like it can go a little longer. The prosciutto is not so done. So we'll go 10 more minutes. The 10 minute mark's up. So we're gonna pull it out and see what it looks like. Yeah, it smells good. It's done now. Yeah, it came out the size. I didn't want that to happen. And it's okay though. It's gonna taste so good. I'm so ready to eat supper. Why don't y'all go ahead and check out the next video after this? It's the deer snack video. You won't want to miss it because it's a really good recipe. Mm, look at this cheese. <laughs> Click on this link right here for the next video. Ah. You will not be disappointed.